Welcome back to another Sir James D. DJ video. I would first like to thank everybody for your tremendous comments on the best of Sir James D. DJ video I just released. It really means a lot to me and I appreciate everything. Even your constructive criticism, I appreciate it, so thank you. Now the purpose of today's video will be based on the uh, OCZ firmware. Now, I have had mine on 1.5, as you know. However, they came out with 1.6, and I was thinking, you know, gosh, I don't want to put this on another DVD or CD. So what I'm going to do is put it on a jump drive, okay? And then I'll show you how to boot to it, things like that, so you don't got to waste another CD or DVD. So basically that's what I'll be doing is putting 1.6 on here and then we're gonna go to the turbos and flash them one at a time and I guess we'll see what kind of performance difference there is and as you can tell I still won't have my 30 inch monitor back from Samsung so apparently it's being exchanged so can't really do any gameplay until then I'm not doing 1920 so all right, I'll be right back. Okay, I hope this isn't too difficult to read compared to the 2560 by 1600. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the jump drive, insert it, and then go to it. It'll come up with a prompt, you can go there also. And delete everything off of it, which I've already done. And then download the 1.6 I've got Vertex turbos, but this applies to Vertex, uh, Sub 2, and Agility, and Onyx. So you're going to want to extract that to the desktop, and I'm going to have the link for the 1.6 over at SirJamesD.com. And what you're also going to want to do is download and install Ultra ISO again. Okay, that's the same one we used with the graphics card and the motherboard BIOS. So open up Ultra ISO, continue to try. And then you're going to want to go to open. And then this is my turbo file. And then bootable, right disk image, format, and you can just delete the label. Start. It's done, and then click right. So that's finished. And then go to restart. Here we are in the BIOS, and load defaults, yes. Advanced BIOS features, remember, leave this on hard disk. First boot device but change hard disk boot priority. Make sure that flash drive is the first one. Okay? And then, here, let's take off the tripod. All right. Now, when you save and exit, okay, yes. While it's shut off, I just pull the other ones because you're only going to want to need the one in the top bay. Okay? Because apparently this is another one of those where it handles them one at a time. See, now it's booting to the jump drive. Okay, select which drive. Clearly two. Enter. Do you want to find the target drive? Yes. Okay, I've already flashed to 1.6, but I'm doing it again for tutorial sake. So, number one. And press to continue. And then I like to do control alt delete. <laughs> and then just shut her down. Okay, now pull the jump drive, come back here, pull the power, 
side panel off. <sighs> Okay, now same thing as before, hold it down for 30 seconds in order to get a full CMOS clear. Now this is instruction directly from OCZ, so don't get on me about, oh, it's overkill. I'm doing what they say, okay? I just lost count. <laughs> oh, 10 more seconds, whatever. Okay, 30 seconds are over. Now pull that first one. Come on. There we go. Now keep some sort of method. I like to keep a method. What was in one, two, three. So I'll just set that right there. Yeah. Toll Paul. Fiddler on the roof. <laughs> okay. Slot two. From slot two into slot one. Power back in. Power it up. So, okay. One thing a lot of people have asked is, how do I know which firmware I've got? Okay? You go into Intel Rapid Storage Technology. Okay, you see that over on the left where it says firmware 1.6? That's how you tell. Now I'm going to have this available also on SirJamesD.com right here. Newest drivers and download section. Okay? So I'm going to have 1.6 and the Intel Rapid Storage Technology RAID drivers there. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. And feel free to subscribe if you're not already one. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk later.